Yo, what's happening, money gang? Y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy, Back to the Money Man. Back with another ba 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 banger for y'all today, man. As y'all can tell by the title and the thumbnail, yes, I might be trading in the Green Hornet to get what I really want. Is it a Mopar? Is it a ZL1? Hey, I don't know. But until then, let's go ahead and roll this intro. This your boy, Back to the Money Man. We out. Sports car and it got 71,000 miles on it. It's like, mm, should I trade it or should I keep it or should I just keep up the maintenance on it or what should I do? Me personally, you know, y'all know I work in the mechanic field, so my car is really basically like everything has been done to it, really. Like, far as wise, when your when your car is really, let me just go ahead and tell y'all this right now. When your car is at 71,000 miles. These are some of the stuff you might want to look for. You uh, might want to just check, really. You want to check your brakes, make sure your tires rotation, if you can get it rotated. Also check the belts and everything. Check the air filter. It's all type of stuff, man. When, you, when your car gets to like 71,000, man, it's like a bunch of stuff some people just don't want to deal with. They just want to just trade it in and just get something else. And me personally, I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about getting that ZL1. It's really been on my mind, people. Me getting that ZL1 or, hey, I may leave the Camaro world and go ahead, try to get me a, a wide body scatty or a wide body Hellcat, man. You know, might go over to the Mopar world. I know some of y'all people in the Mopar world would like that, me going over to the Mopars, but you know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave that up to the Mopars, man. Shout out to everybody who got Mopars. Y'all doing y'all thing with the Mopars, man. Like, Hands down, man. Y'all, y'all got it, man. You know, I'm just gonna stay in my own Camaro world and do my thing. But I'm, I'm really falling way off subject. But like I was saying, my car is at 71,000 miles, and um, a lot has been done to the Green Hornet, as y'all can tell. If y'all check out one of my videos, I put the Power Stop rotors, and I also got the Power Stop pads. So I got the Power Stop bundle. So. It came with the pads and the rotors. And so that's basically like totally upgraded. And also, let me go ahead and show y'all what's under the hood. Y'all see the Rotofab. Y'all can go check that video out, man. When I installed the Rotofab, that video was crazy. I got caught in the rain. Got the oil catch can. And also got the Mishimoto hoses. I don't know if you can upgrade your serpentine belts and try to find a green belt. Nah, I'm just kidding. But nah, you just want to check for your belt and all that. I didn't upgrade my belt, so no nothing like that. But um, as far as that, I feel like my car is in really good condition wise. I, I kept it up. I mean, for 71,000 miles, it runs good. I keep the oil change and everything. And the main important thing is like, some of these people don't tell y'all, you know, we got these rear wheel cars, they got these rear wheel axles. You need to change the rear differential out. I did a video on that like a long, long time ago of changing the rear differential out. Like I think I changed my rear differ, I think I, ugh, ugh. I changed my rear differential fluid out probably every 10,000 miles because y'all people, y'all know, we own these, we, we, own the, we own the gas on these cars. You, you want to make them go loud, you, you, you won't, so. Trust me, you might. That's that's an important thing you do. You want you want to keep that rear differential fluid. And y'all drop a comment down below. Y'all let me know what y'all think. But 
that's that's one of my top of my list when I, I like to keep that riff, that real differential fluid but uh, it had me like tongue twisted man but as far as everything else man when you at like 71,000 miles you just want to just really just do a thorough check of your vehicle of everything and just make sure it's running well tip top shape keeping the oil changed not necessarily a tune-up wise but just making sure it's running well and these cars here take premium you do not want to put regular gas in these cars so it will affect this performance so i only run premium and that's a lot but hey i love it i've been enjoying it so i have no complaints people trust me and as far as all the mods i didn't did to this vehicle i didn't did some crazy mods man and one of the mods that i got right now the lights are on this these right here have a sentimental value to me. I don't know if I said it right. They have a sentimental value to me because this was the first time I met Mod Effects when they did my lights, man. I grew a big, big relationship with them. So shout out to Mod Effects, man. So if y'all need anything done, really, in the spring area, Houston area, Katy area, man, hit up Mod Effects, man. Give a shout out to Randall, Jose, man, anybody now, Pat. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the Modest Facts Instagram right here, man, so y'all can check them out, man. But yeah, man, it just, I did I, I did a lot and I'm still not done yet, people. I got some stuff coming in next week, some more mods, so y'all stick around for that video too as well. That's gonna be an install and an open boxing video too. So, man, uh, I, I got a lot more, but me trading this car in right now, I really can't see it. I really can't see me trading this car in as far as all the mods I done did to it. And also, let me just, y'all y'all know, man, this right here, this would really made me, you know, I, I can't I can't just let these go. I have course on them, man. Come on now. Like, when I probably, when I get my next vehicle, I'll probably put, I'll probably put those on my next vehicle because I do love them. Shout out to Corsa. I don't know if I said it right, but shout out to them. But they really dope. But um, yeah, man. I, I I wouldn't think I wouldn't trade the Green Hornet in. Have it ran across my mind? Yes, it ran across my mind that I want probably want to trade the Green Hornet in. What would I want to get if I did trade the Green Hornet in? I would probably have to go with a ZL1. That is my honest opinion. Chevy gang to the day that I die, baby. Y'all know that it is. Look like Laura Raiden right now. But yes. <laughs> but um, my original plan was when I first got my V6, I was going to keep that one, pay that one off, then get a V8, pay that one off, then get a ZL1. I wanted to have all three of them. I wanted to have all, all the generations. The fifth, the sixth, and a refresh. So, that's my original plan. That was my original plan, but that plan might still be in defect later on. So, y'all might start seeing other cars come to the channel. And a Mopar, mm, for me, I couldn't see myself in it because I ain't no big person. I ain't, no offense, I ain't trying to throw slugs, no nothing. I ain't a big person, so I just feel Mopars is not for me. I, I like the Camaro, you know? Like, it's, it's really dope. I, I can't help it. And, um, it's crazy, man. I didn't have this car, like, two years. I didn't have this car, like, two years. And look what, I, look what it's got me right now, man. It helped me build my channel, my YouTube channel. So, shout out to all of y'all, man, just watching the video, man. Just hitting that like button, smashing that subscribe button, man. And joining this money gang. Y'all know what it is, man. I really appreciate y'all, man. We got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of more stuff coming, money gang. So y'all need to stay tuned, man. It's, we about to turn it up another. We about to turn it up another night. So, but this car right here made my channel. I think I wouldn't want to get rid of it, but I do want to bring something else to the channel. So y'all drop a comment down below. Y'all let me know what y'all think. What I might be getting next because there's something else coming to the channel, and yeah. But, man, this one, just to go ahead and let y'all know, man, your boy has touched 71,000 miles on the Green Hornet. Do I have stuff in store for it later on down in the future? 
Yes. y'all like that good b-roll footage that i gave y'all man i want to say appreciate y'all for rocking with me thank y'all for taking the time out y'all day y'all busy day y'all could be doing anything else but y'all are plugged in y'all tapped into the back to the money channel and i want to say appreciate it man and i want to say man if you ain't hit that like button right now man you wasting your time if you ain't hit the subscribe button right now you wasting your time man and the houston weather is about to get ready to get rain on me look it's dark right here and sunny over here man this weather in Houston is crazy, man. If you stay in Houston, y'all drop a comment down below, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man, because this one minute it be hot, next minute it be cold, next minute it be raining. Man, this weather here is bipolar. But, man, I wanna say thank y'all for rocking with me, man. Your boys at 1,200 subscribers, man. Let's go on here, like I say, man. We gotta get this watch time up, man. So that's what I'm gonna be pressing on, man. We gotta get this watch time up. Make sure you watching the video all the way to the end. And if you watching this right now, this is to the end. You made it to the end. I wanna say appreciate it. Thank you. I really appreciate it. But if you ain't seen none of my other videos, man, go ahead and watch those too. Also, I got a playlist. So if you washing the car, doing the dishes, or you know what I'm saying, just in the bed laying down or doing something at work or anything, just really, Hit that playlist, man. Just let that playlist run up, run up, run up, run up, run up, man. But, man, I want to say thank y'all because it's hot. Body ready to rain on me. <laughs> Body ready to go. I want to say, man, y'all drop a comment down below. Y'all let me know how I did about this video, man, because I was kind of skeptical about doing this video with the 71,000 miles on my car. And also, I have been thinking about trading in, but I don't know yet. I don't know yet. So, y'all got to just stick around and y'all stay tuned, man. Y'all see the Green Hornet right there looking nice, man. So, it's your boy back to the money. It's hot. And <laughs> we out. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We not out, we not out. Man. Man, you got an Instagram? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and put it on there. All right, it's Trap Star Miguel. It's T-R-V-P Star Miguel. Hey, y'all heard him, man. Y'all about to see my boy whip this hoe. He about to whip the G35. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we on some misfit shit, man. We on some straight misfit shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yes, hey bro, you know how to whip that hoe. Yeah. You know how to whip it. Hey, I feel you. But you're gonna also need some tires too. Yeah, yeah you're gonna need some tires too. Yeah. And you got an Instagram too, big dog. Put it on there. Hey, yo, sad eyes wasty. Sad eyes wasty. Hey, y'all heard him. Hey, you got one in the back? Come yeah, on. Yeah, she loves Carlos. Hey, y'all heard him? She loves what? She loves Carlos. Hey, y'all heard him, man. Y'all make sure y'all go follow the homies, man. Yeah, on man. their Instagrams, I'm man. Hey. Appreciate it, appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it. Hey, boy, man, I got to see that, that see that truck on Blaze, though, man, that you got. I got you. We can, we can, we can run it up on the channel. Hey. We're going to track this shit professionally. Hey, we're going to have to link up, man. Sure. Yeah, we're going to have to link up, man. Yes, sir. But, man, y'all make sure y'all go follow my homies, man. They just met me out here. I was out here doing donuts. So he came out here and whipped it too, man. So man, we just out here on some misfit shit. So this is that bonus feature right here. That's that bonus film, man. So man, y'all make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe, man. We are out here chilling. So y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy, Back to the Money, man. And we are definitely out this time.